Hi, my name is Daniel and I make video games. For one year I will be releasing one app a month on the Apple App Store and sharing my experiences here on this channel, Indie Dev Life. I have always wanted to make games ever since I was a little kid. Growing up I was often relegated to watching my two older brothers play the Atari 2600 and the original NES. Unfortunately, three to four player games weren't common back then, so I often had to do this. Please, pretty please, can I play too? I probably came off as really annoying, but my mom thought I was cute. So I had to earn my right to play by doing something nice for them instead. I'll give you the sandwich if you let me play. I combined your two favorite sandwiches, peanut butter and ham. Most of the time, I would actually sit there on the couch and hold the game cartridges in my hand and imagine how the game would play out. I guess I never really grew out of that phase because even to this day, I still enjoy imagining all sorts of gameplay experiences. Some of my favorite games growing up were Ocarina of Time, Rock and Roll Racing, Tetris, Mario Kart, Final Fantasy, and the Age of Empires series. I started programming when I was in grade 10 at the young age of 16, and the first things I wanted to make were games, no surprise there. Final projects in high school included a Simon Says game with ASCII based graphics, and an RPG with, you guessed it, ASCII based graphics, and in grade 12, finally, a game with real graphics where you had to shoot bubbles that were actually squares because I didn't understand what an alpha channel was. It wasn't until 2011 when I took my first big steps towards becoming an independent game developer. I left my full-time job and spent a year and a half working on a game called Pixel Blocked. It was a labor of love and an amazing journey that culminated in winning first runner-up in Microsoft's Dream Build Play competition. When I finally released the game, I sort of thought this was going to happen. But this is kind of what really happened. As you can see, things didn't quite end up the way I expected. I didn't really end up being a hobo, and that's because I was lucky enough to find a part-time job teaching others how to program, which is kind of like food for the soul seeing other people create games. I've realized now that there are a ton of struggling indie developers out there, but hardly anyone ever talks about the unsuccessful indie. The success stories you hear are the outliers, people who have made games that have made millions of dollars, like the guy who made Flappy Bird, or the people who did Angry Bird, or pretty much anyone who's made a bird game. The average indie is a lot like me, working a day job, tons of unfinished projects or failed projects, and if they have released a game, they probably didn't get the sales they needed to, to do it full time. Oh, and we're all really bad at advertising. So that's what I want to shed some light on with this channel. Stay tuned as next week I'll introduce you to my app of the month for September. It's called Chatterjammer and it's going to make you stutter.